to go to maybe uh, seven in the morning, I think. I have to work at nine, so it's gonna be a tough turnaround. Um, we've been waiting in this rain for some ridiculous amount of time. Like, we don't even keep track anymore. And the reason we're out here is honestly, you just want to be the first person to play the game tonight. You know you're not going to be the first person in the world, but you know you're going to be the first person in the store. Straight away, until like three in the morning. Won't go to bed. Yeah. What about school in the morning? No. No? No school. Let's go for the this is the best thing of my life. This, this thing is my life now. I'm not going to school. This is it. This is it. What could cause over 200 people to wait hours in the pouring rain? Are they in line for a major movie or the chance to buy tickets to the hottest concert? Nope. They're waiting to get their hands on a video game. The last two weeks have seen the release of Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and Halo 4, two of the biggest games of the year. For people like Spencer Bell, they're more than just entertaining diversions. Coming up, we have a Halo tournament where we're going to plan on winning a couple thousand dollars. Um, it's going to be in December, and we're really looking forward to that, me and my team. Bell once spent nearly two days straight playing a game. The longest time period ever playing video games is 47 hours. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was when the World of Warcraft came out. Um, I was an addict. And it's a very dark time period in my life. These days, video gamers aren't just nerds playing in their mom's basement. There is a whole generation of adults who grew up on the games of the 80s and 90s and have become lifelong fans. Anthony Whitehead is the director of the School of Information Technology at Carleton University. Latest numbers show that 50% of all Americans play video games. Um, and uh, the, uh, the people that are playing are uh, typically from, from uh, very young. Um, up to be peoples in their in, in, in their 40s and 50s are, are a typical player and the average video game player is now 30 years old. Video games are now big business. Worldwide sales for this year are expected to top 67 billion dollars and franchises like Halo and Call of Duty are a big reason why. Halo 4 raked in 220 million on its first day of sales and the franchise, which includes seven games and dates back to 2001, has total sales of nearly 3.4 billion dollars. Yes, with a B. Precise sales figures for Black Ops 2 aren't yet available, but major retailer GameStop expects it to be its top-selling game of all time. YouTube has also given gamers a chance to share their skills with the world. The two most popular formats are walkthroughs and kill montages. A walkthrough is basically a video of a player talking their way through a game as they beat it. Think of it like an instructional video. Kill montages, on the other hand, are just what they sound like. They give players a chance to brag about how awesome their latest headshot was. Bell explains how he makes his videos. But it's similar to walkthroughs where you're just filming yourself video gaming. Uh, I have a capture card, which is one of these, and it plugs into the Xbox, so then it runs the video from the Xbox onto the USB, and then I can load it onto my computer. Uh, I use it to make montages, so quick scope montages or headshot montages, which is where I just take a big collaboration of all my all the kills that I think are good, and I just uh, stream them together for people on the internet to view. It's kind of like a walkthrough because you're teaching people how to get skills, yeah. right? How to get headshots. For many people, the experience of playing a video game is unlike any other form of entertainment. The, the visual elements that a video game will give you um, provides better entertainment than than the imagination that uh, people use when when they're reading a book. It, it's it is a form of of entertainment. It is a popular form of play. Honestly, I went to go see Skyfall. There's no point because in a theater it's jam-packed. This stuff, you stand in line for a bit and then you go home into your own theater. It was cold and wet and miserable, but that didn't seem to keep many people away. And when the next big release comes along, be prepared for some familiar faces. Usually my strategy is play till about 3 in the morning, go to sleep, wake up at 9, play story mode, beat that, and then get back on the multiplayer for the rest of the year. And then do this all over again next year.